this is section B that carries 55 marks. Answer all the questions in, the sp in this section in the spaces provided. So you are supposed to answer all the questions. Uh, question number 14 is state two ways of minimizing uh, power losses during trans the transmission of electric power. So one way is stepping up, uh, stepping up. Spect uh, stepping up the voltage uh, so that is one way and we use a transformer to do that for example from the power station so this is the input uh, input voltage it is stepped up and then we have now uh, output voltage uh, so the output voltage have uh, more windings compared to the input uh, voltage. Uh, so the other one is uh, use of use of good conductors, use of good conductors that have low resistance. Uh, for example, we use uh, aluminium, we use copper in transmission of power. So that's a uh, most cases we use uh, trans uh, aluminium that has um, that is the best uh, conductor of uh, to transmit electric power part b of the question we are told an electric cooker is rated 2.5 kilowatts kw and 250 volts v uh, state the meaning of these values so 2.5 kilowatts means 2500 watts uh, that is a power output of that electric cooker and uh, and uh, 250 uh, volt indicates the, uh, the the potential difference at which the uh, gadget uh, the electric power is operating at so you can say the electric the electric cooker has uh, has a has a power output of uh, 2500 watts uh, when operating at uh, K here means uh, 1000 kilo kilowatts so that's why uh, we are giving it 2500 watts uh, when operating at at a potential of uh, potential of two hundred and fifty uh, volts, I e power is equals to voltage multiplied by current uh, so that means that uh, it gives out uh, uh, it gives out uh, we can add here and say it, it gives it gives out out at a rate of 2500 Joules per second when operating operating at 250 volts so that's the same it gives out the rate uh, power at the rate of it gives it gives out it gives out and here we have energy it gives out energy at a rate of 2500 joules per uh, juice per second so that's how you answer that question let's go to the next section part c of question number 14 we are told a consumer has the following appliances uh, in the house an electric iron rated 1500 watts a water heater rated 500 watts an electric cooker rated at 25 watts three bulbs used uh, each rated 60 watts 
The house is fitted with a 12 ampere fuse, determining Roman number one whether the consumer can connect all the devices to the 240 volts power supply at the same time. Uh, so what we know is uh, power required is VI, uh, and we are so we need to find uh, what we need to find here is uh, the current required. So we can say current is equal to uh, P divided by V. Uh, so we can say total power required uh, that will be consumed. Uh, or needed uh, by all the devices, uh, we add 1500 plus 500 plus 2500 uh, plus 6, uh, that is, uh, we have 3 bulbs, so we multiply 60 times 3, you can use your calculator and compute that, you get 4680 watts, so that is the total power required. Uh, uh, so current, uh, that is current, when power is, uh, is uh, 46, it will be 4680, you divide by 240. When you divide this, you'll be able to get 19.5 volts. Uh, uh, not actually volts but uh, amperes so because uh, the house is fitted with 12 amperes fuse it what it this means that uh, the, the fuse will blow to cut off the overconsumption of uh, current so we can say uh, hence uh, fuse blow and disconnect current when uh, it exceeds it exceeds 12 amperes i.e. that is to say all the devices cannot be connected cannot be connected at the same time so that is how you answer that uh, question uh, let's have a look at uh, Roman number 2 Roman number 2 we have the same information here the resistance of the heating element used in the cooker so the resistance of the heating element, uh, we have said that uh, the more the, uh, 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 an, uh, an object was, uh, is resistant, the more heat will be produced. So we have said that uh, can say power is equal to IV. Uh, so it means uh, it means that uh, we can get current is equal to P over V. And therefore, we can come and say uh, current is equal to uh, 2500, uh, you divide by 240, that is uh, the, we, are, we are looking at the electric cooker. Uh, uh, we also know that uh, R is equal to voltage over current, so we can be able to say this is equal to uh, we have voltage is 240 we have uh, 200 we are told 240 uh, you divide by uh, you divide by current which is 2500 divide by 240 so this is equals to 240 uh, you multiply by 240 you write the inverse of that 2500 uh, you can use your calculator, you get 23.04 uh, ohms. So that's the symbol for uh, resistance. Another method is that uh, uh, we can say P 
P is equals to V, we have said it is IV or, or uh, IV uh, which is equals to uh, I V is the same as IR so we can say this is double current so we can say it is I squared the resistance so we can use P is equals to I squared R uh, and therefore we can be able to say 2500 that is power is equals to uh, current we have seen here it is 2500 divided by 240 with voltage so we square this and we have R so if you make R the subject you'll be able use your calculator you'll be able to get the same thing 23.04 ohms so that's how you work out question number 24 uh, and if you get to that point you should be able to get full mark